In our earlier video of the Camp Science channel, we have already learnt about the mechanism of electrophilic addition reaction and in this video we will learn about the nucleophilic substitution reaction mechanism. So in this video first we will start by learning the types of mechanism then we will learn the mechanism steps of the nucleophilic substitution reaction with some examples. So in our earlier video we have learnt about the types of the reaction mechanism and one of it is electrophilic mechanism and the other one is nucleophilic mechanism. Out of electro electrophilic mechanism we have two types again addition electrophilic and electrophilic substitution. The nucleophilic also are nucleophilic addition reactions and nucleophilic substitution reactions. And in this video, we will learn about nucleophilic substitution reactions. Now, the two types of mechanism of nucleophilic reactions, these are addition and substitution reactions. Now, again, substitution reactions are also of two types, that is SN1 mechanism and SN2 mechanism. And in this video, we will concentrate on SN2 mechanism. S stands for substitution and N stands for nucleophilic. And let's then understand what do we mean by 2 and 1. Now before we understand nucleophilic substitution reaction, let's first understand the meaning of nucleophile. Nucleophile is a donor of a pair of electrons. So we can say that nucleon itself have an extra pair of electron and it is negatively charged which is then attracted to any other species which is positively charged. and so. Nucleophile is the donor of electron pair. Now what type of molecules undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions? So molecules having electronegative atom bonded to the carbon undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now in this molecule we can see that a carbon is bonded to an electronegative chlorine and then this makes the carbon electropositive and other than this as usual the carbon will be bonded to the remaining atoms of hydrogen. Now in this molecule we can observe that the carbon carrying the electronegative atom chlorine is bonded to just one other carbon. The other two bonds are occupied by hydrogen. Now such a molecule is called primary molecule, primary haloalkane. Now this is very important to know that such a molecule which is primary haloalkane or primary alcohol will undergo SN2 mechanism. In our next video where we will learn about SN1 mechanism, we will understand that what are tertiary molecules here. Temporary, you can understand that what are primary molecules. Let's repeat that. What are primary molecules? Primary molecules are the molecules in which any electronegative atom bonded to the carbon, that carbon should be bonded to only one more carbon. The other two bonds should be occupied by hydrogen. Such a molecule is called primary molecules, and such molecules undergo. SN2 mechanism. So let's learn the mechanism of SN2 stepwise. Here you can see that I have drawn only one bond in a different color. All other bonds are in common blue color that shows that this is the only part of the molecule which is going undergoing a reaction and that's why it's denoted by a different color. Now as chlorine is bonded to a carbon, that carbon becomes electropositive, partial electropositive charge it gets and chlorine is partial negative. Now because of this, the CCl bond has a chance of breaking down and the electron pair which forms this bond is going to move towards chlorine making the chlorine fully negative. So the whole electron pair making this bond is going to move towards chlorine. But at the same time another electron negative species which we call as electrophile here we have denoted it as OH that is hydroxide ion which is again a negatively charged species with a lone pair of electron. Now that is 
at the same time going to get attracted to the electropositive carbon. Now both of this is going to happen together. That is the reason that intermediate step have both the species together on the same carbon atom. That is the leaving group and the joining group. Both the groups are bonded to the carbon. One group is leaving and the other group is making the bond with the carbon. As both these species are bonded to the carbon altogether, that is the reason that we call this mechanism SN2. That is, two reagents are bonded to the carbon. So, SN2 mechanism. So, when OH bond is being formed, the chlorine bond breaks. And that is the reason that in the next step, we show that the chlorine has moved out and OH- minus has joined the molecule that is it forms a bond with carbon. So the leaving species moves out with the electron pair and the species which is forming the bond with the carbon is a nucleophile with a lone pair of electron and as the incoming group is a nucleophile and it replaces out the chlorine that is Chlorine is substituted by another nucleophile, so we call it as nucleophilic substitution reactions. Now, same reactions mechanism applies to the alcohols also. Means in primary alcohols, in place of chlorine, you may find OH group and in place of OH, you may find a chlorine or any other halogen species with a negative charge. The same mechanism will happen again with the reactions of alcohol also. I hope SN2 mechanism is very clear and in the next video we will be learning about SN1 mechanism. So keep watching and if you have liked it, do subscribe the channel.